What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another Call of Duty Cold War tutorial video. In this video, I'll show you how to fix the paging file error that you could be getting saying something about you've ran out of memory or paging file is out of memory. It's super simple to fix. and By the end of this video, everything should be fixed in your computer. First of all, all we need to do is hit start or the Windows key on your keyboard and then immediately type in performance. Simply open, adjust the appearance and performance of Windows and a new window will pop up. Inside of here, head across to the Advanced tab at the very top and then click Change under Virtual Memory. All that you have to do in here is make sure that the first checkbox is ticked. Automatically manage paging file size for all drives. After doing this, hit OK, then OK, Apply and OK. At this point, you'll need to reboot your computer completely and see if your issue has been solved. If not for some reason, you can come back to here, click Change once again and then uncheck the Automatically Manage button at the very top. Then select your C drive where Windows is installed and then click System Managed Size down here. Click Set, OK, Apply and OK once again. Then reboot your computer and see if your issue has been solved. However, if you're still struggling with a paging file error, there are a couple more things that we can do. At this point, it's a very good idea to physically open up your computer after turning it off completely and make sure that the RAM is properly seated in your motherboard. You would want to remove it and put it back in, making sure to blow it clean of any dust or anything like that. Physically moving your computer around can cause the RAM modules to come loose and not work properly with Windows or at all. By removing them and placing them back into your motherboard, you should make sure that things are properly working. But before we do that, how do we know that they might have come loose or could be experiencing issues? Well, the best way to do this is to check out the Windows Task Manager. Hold Control, press Shift and then Escape at the same time and you'll bring up your Windows Task Manager. Simply head across to the Performance tab at the very top and then the Memory section on the left hand side. As you can see, you'll see the total amount of RAM in your computer. In my case, it's 128 gigs. And down here under the speed, you'll see slots used, 4 of 4 or however many available RAM slots you have. By simply hovering over this, you'll see the size and you'll be able to tell if your physical RAM sticks are working as expected. Basically, the paging file is an overflow file where if you run out of physical memory, it'll save whatever it needs to save for programs to function onto a hard disk or SSD, allowing your computer to keep working even though you've completely run out of RAM on your computer. At a certain point, this paging file will fill up and you won't be able to use programs, it'll just crash out, making space. What you can do is upgrade your RAM if you have an incredibly low amount of RAM or you can adjust the paging file to be a lot bigger. Speaking of, it should dynamically grow up to that maximum size that Windows defines or you define if you don't tell it to automatically select. What does that mean? Well, you simply need to make sure that you have free space available on your C drive, the same place you have Windows. I'll open up a new file browser and you can see my C drive has quite a bit of free space. If yours is in the red or completely full, programs will definitely suffer and your paging file will be small and won't be allowed to grow as necessary for programs to keep working if you run out of RAM on your computer. To fix this issue, simply move as many games and other bulky files off of your C drive onto other hard disks as you can. You'll often run into this issue if you have a small fast SSD where you have Windows installed. Of course, you'll experience positive effects in both FPS, stability and a lot more as well if you have a lot of free space available on the same drive as Windows installed on it or up to a certain point. Don't think that running it completely empty will give you tons more FPS, but having it completely full will definitely not be the best for your computer to run and be stable. Finally, if you haven't already, there's two more solutions that we can try. Number one, try updating Windows and your graphics card driver. And number two, we can try scanning and repairing the game by opening the Blizzard launcher and navigating across to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. You can get here by the icon at the very top or by clicking all games, then locating Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War here. Click the settings wheel next to play and finally click scan and repair to scan all of the files on your local computer, compare them to the server's official files and if anything's found to be corrupt or different, it'll be updated or fixed on your local computer, meaning that issues could be solved. Usually this is more of a RAM or paging file issue, but it could come down to an issue here if a file has for some reason corrupted, causing an issue. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found your solution in this video and I really think you have. However, if you haven't, I wish you luck in finding a solution and when you eventually do, make sure to come back to the comments down below and leave a comment as your comment may help someone else having an edge case issue like you on your computer. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot 
and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!